क्वेश्चन नंबर 126. सिलेक्ट द ट्रू स्टेटमेंट और स्टेटमेंट्स रिगार्डिंग बनाना फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इट इज अथिनोकॉपिक फ्रूट सेकेंड इट हैज टोलॉन्स थर्ड मीजोकॉप एंड एंडोकॉप आर एडिबल पार्ट ऑफ इट्स फ्रूट फोर्थ बोथ वन एंड थ्री बनाना इज अ पार्थिनोकॉपिक फ्रूट एज इट डेवलप विदाउट फर्टिलाइजेशन सो दिस स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट इट हैज टोलॉन्स नो Banana can have suckers or rhizomes, but not the stolons. Stolon is a subaerial modification of the stem, which cannot be seen in banana. So this option is ruled out. Third, mesocarp and endocarp are edible parts of its fruits. Yes, the very developed endocarp and the less developed mesocarp are the edible parts of the banana fruit. So both options one and three are correct. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. so both statements 1 and 3 are correct let's move on to the next question question number 127 in a racemose and florescence the main axis first option bears a solitary flower second has unlimited growth third terminates in a flower fourth has a limited growth and flowers grow in bicepital manner whenever we talk about racemose in florescence we should remember R I A or R I A R stands for racemos I for indeterminate growth or the indefinite growth A for acropetal it means in racemos in florescence the growth is indeterminate and the flowers are born in acropetal manner so in racemose and florescence it bears a solitary flower no solitary flower are seen in cymose and florescence not in racemose and florescence has unlimited growth yes they have indeterminate or the unlimited growth terminates in a flower no has a limited growth and flowers grow in bicepital manner no flowers grow in acropetal manner and they don't have limited growth they have unlimited growth so the correct option for the given question is option number 2 let's move on to the next question question number 128 match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option column 1 a carpels fused b staminode c twisted stimation d unisexual flower you have to match these terms of column 1 with the column 2 see here carpels fused this condition is called syncarpus condition so a goes with 1 option number 1 and 4 are ruled out next is staminode staminode is a sterile stamen b goes with 3 it means option number 2 is also ruled out c goes with 4 true cotton has twisted estivation and d goes with maize maize has unisexual flowers so by analyzing the option we can say option number 3 is the correct option for the given question let's move on to the next question question number 129 read the following statements and choose the correct option a statement mango is a droop type of fruit b statement The standard petal of a papilionaceous corolla is also called vexillum. First option only A is correct. Second option only B is correct. Third both A and B are correct. Fourth only A and B are incorrect. In the question statement A says mango is a droop type of fruit. It is very correct very basic question that yes mango is a droop type of fruit in which mesocarp is edible and the endocarp is hard and stony. Statement B The standard petal of a papilionaceous corolla is called vexillum. The standard petal is the largest petal of papilionaceous corolla and it is called vexillum. Papilionaceous corolla is a feature of family Fabiaceae. So this statement is also correct. So both A and B are correct. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's move on to the next question. Question number 
The seed coat is fused with fruit wall in. Option 1. Wheat. Second, maize. Third, gram. Fourth, both one and two. The seed coat is fused with fruit wall. It's a feature of Caryopsis fruit. Caryopsis is seen in monocots such as wheat and maize. So yes, it can be seen in wheat but it cannot be seen in gram. So both one and two. So the correct option for the given question is option number four. Let's move on to the next question.